Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Asian indices for June the 5th and with the ASX on the daily chart here. As you know, we're looking at uh, wave 3 here to uh, wave 4 here and um, I'm considering this leg down through here as just the first leg and then a move up to the 61.8% retracement level and then a move down through here. So let's go in and have a look at that. So this first leg down through here as wave A that we we're looking for and then we're looking for an A and a B and a C wave here. This is what we're looking for before. Um, however, it's possible when I look at this in more detail that this A wave is actually sitting this low is over here on that one there and this becomes an A and a B and a C wave here that will take us um, higher into this space here and we'll look at that in a bit more detail in just a sec but um, yeah so looking for five waves from B to C here so let's go and have a little look at that I'll just save that so on the um, on the hourly chart here let me just clean this up a little bit this is the 61.8 percent this is where we're heading here just remove that um, if you obviously if you are short you need to be out of that now so we can just move that down into this space here um, yeah so it it I also just want to talk about um, this particular structure down here so I can count it as one and two and three and four and five here now wave four was quite small here but wave two was quite big normally it's the other way around wave two is the small one and wave four is the large one um, so that's okay it's just the if one is if one is complicated the other one's going to be simple it's just normally the other way around um, the other point here it's quite clear that we've got sort of five waves down through here and when I look at this on the tick chart here on 100 ticks we'll look at this here in a moment let me just bring some more data in here so from wave one and two we were counting and down for three and four and five here and, th and that's fine um, but on on the um, I just want to explain a particular uh, issue here is that it's I've got this here as one and two and three and four and five here for one and back for two here and then down for three here back for four here and down for five here um, but in here is just a little bit sort of messy in here so um, if I, this is 100 ticks here if I take this to 20 ticks uh, here let me just get organized here see on this chart here on 20 ticks I've got it counted differently I can count it down as an A wave here a B wave here and then one and two and three and four and five here for a C wave so basically an A and a B and a C wave here for, for wave A um, not that it's a big deal at this stage but the problem where the reason that I've counted them differently for is all based on just in here this is this is the problem I can't get my head around so if anybody can do that so in this case here I've got it as one and two and I've got all the way down here for three here and four over here but on the other chart I've got wave three here and wave four here and then this wave five sitting here with wave three sitting here that's where it all changes at this point so um, I'm just tracking both counts at the moment um, with this it's not such a big deal as I, as I mentioned I just it's just difficult to count all of this within in this structure here um, so it does it does at the end of the day it it produces two different results one is that we've got three waves down as an ABC and the other one is that we've got five waves down as wave A 
Um, so in both cases, if I just remove this here for a moment, so in this case he, here, in both cases, we can be looking for a B wave up here. Now that B wave sits around the uh, 6430. So the thing here is that um, if this level here, the 61.8%, if that becomes a support, then the other count with the ABC coming down would come into play and then it would take us higher from this point. In fact, it would take us into new highs from that point. So this is going to be a really important area here, okay, this box. And um, we can expect some sort of um, uh, uh, resistance there. In fact, we can expect resistance at 6,400, reflecting the volume that was played out through here. So that will mirror itself over here. So it's going to take a little bit of time with all of this. Now, I think it's I think I'm on the right track with the A wave and the B wave here in both cases because this little move up through here, the first move here, um, it doesn't appear to be in five waves. It's more like it's in three waves as an A and a B and a C wave here. So this being corrective here would make all of this corrective. Um, however, we need to look at it as an A wave here and uh, and this is definitely in three waves here, so a B wave here. And then all we need to do is count the five waves to the upside here. And with the five waves here, we can look at wave one here and wave two here, and then wave one here and wave two here, and then five little waves up for wave three here and four here, and then we've got one and two and three and four and five. So we're coming into the fifth of the third wave here. And then we're going to come back to the fourth wave here. So let's just assume for a moment that the low of wave two, let's just say that the time the market opens, it will gap up a little bit and push it up. So we'll hit this 5.4 here. Well, the 38.2% retracement level is here. So we can expect, um, if I can just copy these here, we can expect, um, what's it, is it, we'll just, We can expect some type of little A wave, B wave, and C wave to pull back down into. The, it may not come this low down. Um, markets are strong at the moment, but the the S and P will hit two thousand eight hundred. So that's also a strong level there. So that will play out. So I can't draw on this side of the tick chart, but. Um, Um, this is what we'd be sort of looking at here. So, um, yeah, wave three, an A and a B and a C that will come back and rest in group two here. And then we'll see five little waves up through here. So once we get these five little waves through here, um, that would be the top at that point. If we get anything further than that, then we need to go, we know we, know we need to be going long again from that point. Okay, so... Um, if I can just draw that out on the one hour chart here now. So, oops, I haven't got it here on this, but what we can look for here is, in a nutshell, we'll look for a move up to here, an A and a B and a C. C wave into this space. And then we just want to look for five waves here, one, two, three, four, and five here and then we should be coming down from that point. Um, but if I'm wrong, um, then um, then any move above this high here would give us, would, would give us um, the next long trade here. So if I can just copy that there for a moment. So, um, yeah, any move above, after we've got five waves here, any move above that will take us much higher at that point. But otherwise, we can expect to move down. Um, if we do move down, we'll have five waves here, and then we'll have a counter trend of three waves, and then we'll be coming down here again. So we can also look to go short here as well. But normally, I don't go short within this space here. I normally leave my shorts under, under group two here. So we'll be looking to go short 
um, if group two here becomes the resistance at that point, we'd still have a long way to go down. So when we look at, say, the four hour chart here, we'd be coming down to at least this, you know, to six two here. So with group two in here, the 82, the 72 in, in here, this is really where we could have a safe trade down through here as, as being a short trade here. So um, yeah, we're just looking at this here being the A wave, the B wave, and then one and two and three and four and five coming into this space here. So that's what we're looking at there at the moment. So I'll just save that and we'll have a look at um, India and Hong Kong now. So first, first, where are we here? Hong Kong's on my list first. So with Hong Kong here, this is just the four hour chart here. Um, as I mentioned before, um, we needed to work out sort of where we are with this. So. need to check that but um, we'd counted down from the top here as wave A and B and then five waves down for C is one and two and three and four and then one and two and three and four and five to make up wave five here so we can have the low in place here now or this can be wave three here if it's going to be wave three then we need to be looking at a wave four here and that wave four here will be 38.2% from the top here down to this low here. That would take us to this point here. So we can expect to move to here. Um, if it's wave C, then it's going to find support on top of 28 eventually and then move higher. But at the same time, um, uh, at the same time, this the 28 here <clears throat> is going to see um, some some type of you know reaction from the 2800 here so it's going to be something like the arrival the reaction the first high above the level and then an a and a b and a c here and then if it's going to go up then we can go through here and go go up this way here Otherwise, um, and also too, <clears throat> within here, we will look to see if this is a corrective pattern or an impulse pattern. So if this is in five waves here, then we know that this will occur and then we'll go higher from that point. So um, otherwise, if this is a corrective move in here, like with overlapping wave structures like this wave four here, for instance, then, um, then we know that we'll be coming down from that point. So I need to see the price action here, and then that will that hopefully will help us out in understanding if we've got three waves here as corrective or five waves. But at this stage here, we can also go long from this point now. So <clears throat> just straighten this up here. I just need to look at this a little bit more carefully. This we'll look to take we're looking to take profit there because that was our target zone on the bottom of this low here. So we don't need that. We shouldn't be in the trade now, but we can also copy that now and look to go long here now and look well, don't even need that red one there. That's okay. So we can move that. So it should be, I'm not going to put it there because it'll come back and test that. I'll have to go there, about there. <clears throat> what I've got to do is I've got to work out if that's the low or if that's the low. So I'll need to look at that in a bit more detail. So but I'll just put both of these here for the time being. Um, but otherwise, that should be a nice trade to the upside there for that. And let's have a look at India. Okay, so um, I've made a bit of a mistake here, but um, that's uh, I'm okay with that because I just took the next logical step um, in this. So um, we ha had here as one and two and three and four and little five waves up here for five. Um, and that's fine, did all the right things and we can put wave five here. 
Um, but obviously the market's moved up higher. So what we need to do now is because we've got these five waves here, we have to rearrange this a bit. So um, these five waves here now become wave one and a nice sharp move back for wave two. And this is wave three building up here. We won't need these, they can go up higher. So wave three is up here and then we'll look at wave four and wave five. So we're just basically, this fractal pattern um, has just is building on itself. Um, and in here you can see that we've got one and two here and three here and four here. So we can go along from there and we can borrow this here and we can just put that, um, yeah, not so, not so quick. Um, So, um, I mean, what will happen here, we've got one and two and three and four, so we'll get the length of this one here, maybe. It's quite a good accumulation pattern there, though, isn't it? So, we're going to end up with this 100, 150, 100 is too small, probably around the 150, but we're, we're looking at our levels now, so 100, 200, 300, so that's all of group one. So what I'm concerned about here is that also too, this wave three from here to here will be too small compared to the distance of wave one. So we're gonna be going higher there. So we're going to have to leave the stop out of the way. So let's just say that that's at 150, there's a 61.8%. So we're going to have to leave that stop under here, not here, because what will happen here is that this can come back and test us out here before moving up here higher. So we'll just move these out of the way here. So wave three is, is likely to be stronger and longer. So this is probably just wave one in wave three and then wave two. So we'll just leave this out of the way. We'll go along now but we'll leave that out of the way just for the time being, okay? Um, that's it. So um, thanks for tuning in and uh, enjoy the day. Cheers.